Kentucky. Yeah. There's the Tri-County Airport. That's where I used to fly out of when I was 17 years old after going into the Marines. Yeah. I'd come in on leave. Uh, I would come up here to the airport and fly out. But anyway, Sheila and I are on our way to another cemetery here where um, at least one famous person is uh, buried. We're going to do a video on. Mm -hmm. And then another person that uh, Sheila and I didn't even know no. but because we know a member of the family, family. Um, we wanted to come and show our respects to them and do a little video on tell them where we're going at this point uh, okay um we are going to go see the gravesite of henry d hatfield he is one of the hatfields that should be honored for his accomplishments and stuff he was a senator in one mile turn left he was a senator twice um and then uh, the governor West Virginia. He was the 14th governor uh, of West Virginia. That was a good comment you made there. If you want somebody to honor, this would be one of the Hatfields from Logan County that definitely deserves to be honored, mm -hmm. unlike his uncle. Uh, this man achieved a lot in his life. And we'll cover him when we get there. We'll be there shortly. Oh yeah, uh, we gotta make a, a left up here. Nothing. In a quarter of a mile, turn left. Well, we might as well just, that's all it is. Yeah, see. we'll just um, let him stay on here so yeah. in case somebody else wants to come. Well, it's a little bit longer than that. Oh, is it? But yeah, we can show when we turn and then we'll take a break and then come back. Some of the 
names for anybody that wants to visit. Yeah. Right here? No. Keep on. That street is called Ferguson Road. Yeah. As you can see, there's a little way. Road off to the left. We're on Norway Avenue. In 0 0.1 miles, turn right. Norway. And then turn left. Avenue. So, right after you got point. I'm going to be, so you got to turn right right up here and then it's like a switchback, it looks like. So probably right here. Turn right and then turn left. All right. Right here. See that? Well, they don't know I'm in a tank. This thing <laughs> don't just turn on a dime. No. All right. Here we are. Turn left. Let me have your thing here so they can see woods near Memorial Park. Now, Sheila, do you know where he's at? Uh, he is in, um, oh, mausoleum. Mausoleum, yeah. yeah. Yes, he's in the mausoleum. Let's go back this way. If we don't turn over first. See the, the beige ones over here? Yeah. That's where he's at. And, do we go that way or this way or does it matter? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Henry D. The Honorable there you go. Henry D. Hatfield. Yeah, there we go. Now, guys, we're out here out front of Fort uh, Faith. Uh -huh. um, at the Wood Woodmere. Woodmere. Uh, and Memorial we're at the mausoleum. Party. Yeah. So what we're going to do? Let's just go down here, Sheila. Okay. We are looking for Henry Jury at Right, Henry D. Uh, 14th Governor of West Virginia. And he's in one of these crypts or mausoleums. Uh, whatever these things here are called, of course. And uh, scan over them. Yep. Just uh, don't see nothing there. Okay, let's go around the corner here. We'll go down this side and back up that side. Okay. Meadows. Here's a Hatfield, but it's not him. Oh. Blaine Hatfield and yeah. Eva. Okay. Cool. 2007, 2008. Albert Blaine Hatfield, U.S. Army and Air Force. Wow. World War II. Bless his heart. Yeah, we salute you, sir. Thank you for your service that you did, National sir. National Rifle Association. And a practical nurse. She was a nurse. Wow. So there's there's two Hatfields. Yeah. And uh, okay, but we're still looking for Henry. Henry D. Hatfield. Right, right. Oh, this is neat how they did this picture. Oh yeah. I like that. Yeah. 
Hey, look. <laughs> they spelled their name the same way I do mine. S H E L I A. Yeah. How hey, cool Sheila is K. that? I have the same name there. Yes. <laughs> so not everybody spells it. The so other it's way. not wrong, as everybody says. <laughs> Henry D. Okay. Atkins Clark. Several mm -hmm. veterans on here. Several veterans. Wow. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding? Uh, Henry D. Henry D. U.S. Army Air Force Don't see him here, baby. Don't see him here. I love this right here. Let's, let's go inside. The Lord is my shepherd. Yeah, sweet, That's beautiful. And this one's called Quarter of Faith. Huh. It's locked. It's locked. That one there is. Let's see if you can see anything in there. Reynolds, okay. Thompson, okay, ooh, that's pretty too, guys. Okay. okay. There's McCoy. <gasps> Bayetta, Johnny McCoy, wow. 1964. Yeah. Farley. Brown, Johnson. Farley name will come up again after a while. Johnson's. But that's not the other Great. one we're looking for yet. No. Okay, let's try and get like Woodmere Abbey. No, this one ain't locked. Come on. Remere Remembrance. Sorry. Oh, good. Uh, I didn't have the heat. I thought that was Buckner. From McC McC I thought that was McCoy, too. Yeah. <laughs> Harry. We're looking for Henry D. Atfield. Henry D. Shepherd. Mark Moore. Wow, some of the letters here's are missing off their names. Here's your Vietnam. Wow. U.S. Navy veteran. Oh, snap. That's the Ernest. Mm, yeah. Uh, Okay, Henry D. Oh, okay, there's more inside. Johnson. Yeah. Foster. I was Foster. thinking he was on the inside of the game. Maybe on one of We got one more wall outside. We got World War II PFC Army. Roy Edwards. Hamilton. Bunch. Fletcher. Atkins. Atkins, yeah. Smith. Smith. Oh, Up here to the top. The main Dr. top. Dr. Henry Drury Hatfield. Can you see that? Carolina Bronson. Hatfield? Hatfield, yeah. Can, does okay. it widen out or anything? Or? I don't know. I can't, I can't do it. Well, there it is. Let me, here, step right over there. Let me get you in there. Yeah. Now there's. There's the Honorable Dr. Henry Jury Hatfield, the son That's of right. Good Elias Hatfield. That's right. There's you, somebody. Like West I Virginia, said, Logan uh, County, you want to celebrate somebody. There's you, a man to celebrate. Exactly. <clears throat> 14th governor of the state of West Virginia. And he was a senator twice. Twice the senator. You know, guys, there's a, a lot of pictures out there. And they, they misrepresent because they show these pictures like they're... Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. I bet that's pretty when the sun shines on it in the morning, don't you? Yeah. Because that goes to the outside. Uh, they misrepresent a lot of pictures, guys. And they show them as Devil Lance Hatfield's funeral. And they show traffic backed up. They show cars everywhere they show all these different things and and they want you to believe that that's devil lance hatfield's funeral it's not devil lance hatfield's funeral that is actually a political rally a political get together that tennis hatfield had at the home place after he inherited it 
and uh, him and Henry Hatfield. Henry was either running for uh, state representative or senator again, or he was running for governor. I don't, I can't remember which. But him and Tennis, Tennis was running for Logan County Sheriff. And they had a big political rally, and they did have hundreds of people there. But it was a political rally. It was not a, a funeral. But yet you'll see some of the newspapers, you'll see some of the uh, books, some of the stories, and, and um, um, Facebook pages. Mm -hmm. And they want to represent that as Devil Ants Hatfield's funeral. It's not so. It's not true. On Devil Ants' funeral, it was January the 21st, uh, January the 6th of 1921 mm -hmm. and it rained it come a terrible rain cold at rain so uh, that's that that wasn't uh, accurate. Uh, that's not accurate so listen there's Henry Drury Hatfield yep. and uh, we're glad to get to come to see uh, we, we put him in our book several years ago sure did. honoring him honoring Coleman C Hatfield honoring was it his daughter? It's either Coleman C's daughter or uh, Coleman C's dad, um, the Cap's son. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, Cap was Coleman C's grandfather, but there was a son in between. I can't think his name. But they had a daughter. Mm -hmm. He did, and she was. Uh, we mentioned it the other day. She was the first woman, woman I believe, to pass the West Virginia bar or something. She was actually an attorney. Good job for her. So there are, yeah, yeah. there's so many Hatfield, West Virginia Hatfields. Mm -hmm. I know it don't seem like I brag on West Virginia Hatfields that much. I, I don't brag on Devil Ansys, uh clan. Now, Good Elias, that's a, uh, what's it called, a, something from a different cloth, uh, a thread from a different cloth. Good yeah. Elias was a good man, and he had good children and grandchildren. Yeah. And that's, that's his son right there. Uh, admirable uh, accomplishment by him and and a whole lot more credible person for people to be coming to West Virginia Logan County to see a, a monument of a murderer of a deserter of a man that put his own monument up put you a monument people in Logan County because that's where this man grew up at this man Put you a monument over there of Dr. Henry Drury Hatfield. And uh, there's you somebody to celebrate. Yeah. There's you somebody that's an example for the youth and for our children. Yeah. Not a deserter, not a coward, not a murderer. Devil Ants went to his grave with murder warrants still on him. Kentucky murder warrants still on him. But anyway, we're here at Woodmere. We have another, we're going to stop this video. This will conclude. And we're going to start another video of another special person that we are going to try to locate the grave of that is also buried here in the same cemetery mm -hmm. as Henry Drury Hatfield. Yep. Sheila, do the honors. Do you want me to tell? No, I want you oh, to okay. like, Please subscribe. Please like, <laughs> subscribe. And share. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Yeah, we'll let them tune in on the next one to see who we're talking about. Come along. We'll find out.